This episode is brought to you in part by California Inspection Authority, Southern California's premier property inspection experts. guys, it's David from Trail Adventures USA. Things have been crazy lately and we haven't been able to get on the trails, but today we're taking a road trip. We just got off Trona Road and now we're on Pinnacle Road. It's a dirt trail that leads out to Trona Pinnacles. We hope to be able to bring you some great content, so stay tuned for another trail adventure. As soon as you turn off Highway 178 and head down the long dirt road to Trona Pinnacles, it's apparent that these formations are almost alien-like. Some of the pinnacles date back as far as 25,000 to 100,000 years ago. Hey guys, it's about nine miles from Trona Road, um, along Pinnacle Road, until you hit the sign. So we're here at the Trona Pinnacles uh, in Death Valley. Temperature right now is about 78 degrees. It's absolutely wonderful. This is a great time of the year to be here. Now, understandably so. Not everybody is going to be out right now because of the current conditions. But we thought we would share our adventure with you today. There's a scenic loop that takes you around the northern group of pinnacles and foot trails that meander through the towering spires. This area has a unique ecosystem coyotes, raven, kangaroo rat, kit fox, just to name a few. Hot springs once surged from beneath this lake, creating fractures that allowed the calcium-rich groundwater to combine with the highly concentrated carbonated brine from Sierra Nevada snowmelt. What resulted was calcium carbonate, as it bonded with algae beneath the surface to create the hollow tubes that we see today. The dry bed holds half of the nature's known elements, including trona and pink halite. But it's difficult to pull your eyes away from the more than 500 pinnacles that cast shadows across the Great Basin. You may know them from films like Planet of the Apes, Star Trek, and Lost in Space. Archaeologists love to search the lake bed for ancient artifacts, such as arrowheads, spears, and other ancient tools. Camel and woolly mammoth bones have also been discovered in and around the lake bed. After the discovery of borax deposits here by Aaron and Rosie Winters in 1881, business associates William Tell Coleman and Francis Smith subsequently obtained claims to these deposits, opening the way for large-scale borax mining in Death Valley. The Harmon Borax Works employed 400 men who produced three tons of borax daily. In the summertime, the borax operations were moved to a cooler climate where the borax could properly crystallize so it could be packaged. The area of Trona Pinnacles is vast. It would take more than a day to two days to see everything that it has to offer. Its beauty and splendor is immense. After about two and a half hours of driving, it was time for lunch. We pulled off at one of the largest pinnacles in the basin. After enjoying our sandwiches, we hiked up to the top of one of the pinnacles and enjoyed the view. We had some sandwiches that we had packed earlier. After taking in the sights and descending the pinnacle, it was time to get back on the trail. There was more adventure to be had. Special attention should be given when traveling these trails after rains. What appears to be solid firm ground can be a thin, crusty layer with 8 to 10 inches of soft mud below. 
one should not take even the smallest mud puddle for granted. Crystal found out the hard way that splashing through puddles can lead to your vehicle getting stuck or even worse, being stranded in the desert. Luckily, we were equipped with a winch, but if someone was traveling by themselves and got stuck, there were no trees or rocks to winch from. After about 10 minutes, we were able to get the Jeep out and on firm ground. So we just finished a nice little day trip with the family out to the Pinnacles, and it was a great day. Uh, Crystal got a little overzealous with her Jeep, thought she could go through a mud hole. And, you know, listen, trail safety. If you don't know how deep the mud is, don't do it. If she would have been by herself, it could have been a much different story. Obviously, we had the ZR2, we had the winch, so we were able to pull her out today and everything was fine. And uh, no damage that we know of yet. But I want you guys to know we had a terrific time, and um, it's great to be out and doing at least some adventuring. Uh, get out, be safe, stay healthy, everyone, and we'll see you on the next episode of Trail Adventures. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Be sure to ring the bell icon so you won't miss future episodes. If you have a product or service that you feel could benefit from being featured, please contact us through Instagram at trailadventures underscore. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next Trail Adventure.